Hey there, this is Koi, and we're going to talk about the Skullwoods Mummy Room today. This is the Statue Push Room, aka the Room. Oh my god, I wish I had Samaria right now. This is a very tough room to do optimally, but it's not so hard to do, period, you know? Like, to do to the point where it looks like you did okay. Like, that, that went really well, right? We got 1330, that's fantastic. It's not optimal, but it's, it's you know, good enough for... Uh, you know, somebody who's worried about dying to Mothula still. <laughs> uh, but there, there's a lot of little things in this room that we have to worry about, that we have to pay attention to, that we have to make sure that we do well to get through the room quickly and without taking a bunch of damage from the Gyptos. Uh, so let me just start by killing everything in the room and we can talk about those things. And I'll just save state here. Okay, so step one, when you walk in the room, you walk up and you kill the two Baris that were here. They like to hang out right in here. Sometimes they split up and go to the right. Uh, if you need to, you'll have to like uh, adjust to the right or left uh, to make sure that your one slash will kill both of them. Uh, but you do want them dead to both to reduce lag and to keep them from getting in your way. This guy's going to... I can't make this guy stop. He's just going to keep going and going. <laughs> uh, so once you kill the Baris and you walk up here and you grab the pot... And you're going to throw away the pot as fast as you can while diagonaling down right and getting over to the statue. Now you want to grab this statue on the bottom left corner like this and pull it down just a little bit. It does not have to be that far, uh, very far at all. Uh, you just need enough space that you can get over the top of it when you're lined up right here, uh, which is actually a lot smaller than you actually need, than you would think you need. But once you pull it down, then you transition over to the side and you want to push the statue. Always push, never pull. Pushing is way faster than pulling. Uh, and while you push, you want to uh, alternate between holding up and down like that, because that'll push it faster. Now, it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up with this. A uh, little to the right or a little to the left is fine. But you, the sprite, the you that is controlling everything, uh, you do want to be lined up. When you when you transition from the side while you're pushing to the top, you want to be as centered as you can with this. Uh, because if you try and do it from the side, while it will let you... Or, ah, while it will let you, it will... God damn. It will push you in. So you can see, like... Ah! It pushes you in, and that, that act of pushing you into the to, to line up, that's really, really slow. So you want to make sure that you're as lined up as you can be first, and then go. But, you know, in the in the essence of, or in the name of uh, speed, you take what you can get. If I, if I end up a little too far to the side, you just take the, the frame loss. It's no big deal. Uh, when you do pull it all the way through, you want to make it make sure you pull it far enough. That guy won't be in the way if you do it properly. You pull it far enough that it stays on the switch, and you can go on through. Uh, it doesn't have to be that far off for it not to work. So like we can put it right here, and it looks like it should work, but it really doesn't. So make sure that you do pull it far enough. If uh, you don't pull it far enough, uh, it's hard to grab the statue and pull it while it's there. Uh, sometimes you have to push it all the way through before it'll let you uh, move it like that. Okay, so all together, we come up here, we slash the barriers, pull this thing out, pull this down a little bit, diagonal push, come around the side, centering as much as we can, and then pull the statue far enough so that it lands on the switch and get on through. Okay, now do it with the enemies in the room. And you can see, uh, if if we do it properly, the Gibdos will uh, be manipulated into moving where we want them to move, and they won't be in our way. Uh, but little tiny changes in how you move will have big changes on how they move. So uh, keep in mind of the things that you do differently between your attempts that work and your attempts that don't. All right, with the enemies. Slash the Baris. Oh. I already messed up. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Slash the Varis. Pull it up, throw it, pull it down a little. Statue push. Center it up. Pull it up and just far enough. Let go. 13, 15. That's not bad. That's not bad. 
If this is a this is a very difficult room to do optimally. I, I cannot stress that enough. Uh, do not be dismayed if you don't get this immediately. It does take a lot of practice to do this room consistently uh, and optimally. I'm not even doing it optimally. I can't show you how to do it optimally because I'm not good enough. But uh, you know, you you definitely can learn to do it this well, which is, in my opinion, like it's fine. Like this is pretty darn good. I'm very happy if my mummy room goes that well, you know, 1324. I'll take it, I will take it. That's really good. Now, of course, in randomizer, you don't always have the same equipment. Uh, I'll say like you have a different sword. Like even with the fighter sword, this is gonna be exactly the same thing. You don't need the sword beams or anything. Just make sure that you get both of the baris with your slash. A little slow there, got hit by the Gibdo, but it's fine get on through. Um, if you have Samaria, of course, this room is trivial because I can just do <laughs> this. I don't need to show you this just to show you like how awesome it is if you just have Samaria. Ta-da! Save seven seconds! <laughs> Why can't I just have Samaria all the time? But yeah, this is a this is a rough room. For new players. It was rough for me for a long, long time before I got this down. Uh, so I definitely recommend working on this. This is a very scary room. Uh, whether for randomizer or NMG, it's definitely worth your time to uh, practice this one. I hope that helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.